What is local SEO directories and why is it important? So, yeah. Yeah, did you know 93% of consumers say that they are frustrated by incorrect information with online directories? 93%. That's crazy. Um, yeah, well, I mean, I mean, I mean, Crystal, not even, I mean, we talk a lot about the reason why businesses need to do this is because, you know, Google is looking for that correct name, address, and phone number. We call it a NAP for short. So, and, you know, as opposed to taking, you know, like a nap in the middle of the day, you know, like we're, this is a different nap. Okay. Basically, this is, this is a nap that if you get right, it can help you. If you take, if you have your nap all screwed up and you have misinformation out there, not only are you confusing Google, which inevitably will give you worse rankings. Google, I always say, if you give Google what it wants, Google will give you what you want. Well. This is one of those things, okay? If you give Google correct information, not only on Google My Business, which is the biggest directory out there for all businesses, this is where 70% of people go to find local businesses is Google My Business. This is why we spend so much time focusing specifically on creating posts and mm -hmm. you know filling out all the, the, the questions there for the Google My Business page and optimizing it because that's the big, the big kahuna, if you will. But, you know, the other thing about the map is, is that, you know, people just get ticked off if they see inconsistencies, if they, because, you know, they might see one address and one, you know, business name or, and then one address on one, on Google My Business and see something totally different on Yelp or Bing or Yahoo. And then they're like, well, which is correct? You know, what, what are the correct office hours? You know, what are the, what's, you know. So it just yeah. creates confusion and it creates a lack of confidence. And when there's, yep. when, when, you know, decisions are not simple, then people do not actually make a decision and they go to the next business and yeah. you do not get chosen. Exactly. Where your competition is waiting there with open arms. But not only that, if your information is correct, um, consumers are more likely to blame the local business rather than the directory. Yeah, if it's if it's incorrect, yes, exactly. That's what's very very interesting. It's they blame you as a business, and it's true. They're mm -hmm. putting the blame where it should be because look, it's your responsibility. I mean, yes, these these you know, look, it used to be the yellow pages. We used to get that three inch you know book, and you could choose whether or not you were a part of it. But if you didn't have the correct information in there, you know, people just looked at that as being a part of business. So it's not the directory's fault. It's your fault if you don't if you don't give the correct information. And mm -hmm. now there's hundreds of online directories, some that are very niche specific, like, mm -hmm. you know, fine law or, um, you know, whatever. I mean, there's so many um, there's so many directories that are very unique to a specific niche. There's there is unique niches. Um, well, there's like plastic surgery that has, you know, unique niches like real self that. Yeah. You know, obviously a plumber is not going to want to be listed on real self. It's not really going to be not going to be relevant for him. I mean, it's not going to not going to help him get a lot of plumbing cl you know, clients uh, to be listed on a you know, plastic surgery directory. Now, having said that, you know, th I'm just pointing out the fact that, you know, it is, though, the responsibility of these cosmetic surgeons to make sure that their correct name, address and phone number is on real self, just mm -hmm. like any other business for any other directory. And if you don't, if you're not managing those, not only for the customer's sake, but also for Google's sake, so that it, it can correctly give you, you know, the rankings that you want and list you the way that you want to be listed, you know, then, you know, you're just going to create confusion. And when there's a, con a confused mind doesn't buy, we always like to say that a confused mind doesn't buy. And that's not only, I mean, this is just, you know, people haven't even gotten to your doorstep yet and they're confused. I mean, they're going to, they're yeah. out before they can even say hi to you. You know what I'm saying? Well, too. And if you're confused, you're setting that mind mindset of the customer experience. And two, uh, you know, in the survey, it states that there's in the last 12 months, it's been discovered that 71% of consumers who had, um, had a negative experience because of the incorrect local business information found online. So can you imagine, you know, creating that negative experience prior to that person walking into your doorstep and then asking for a review? 
Yeah, no, I mean, it's just, it's just not going to happen. It's like, you know, it's, it's the, how easy is it to do business, to do business with your business? Yeah. And, and if you're, if you're starting off on the wrong foot before mm -hmm. somebody even steps foot in your door and it, I mean, this is all part of that, that customer experience. It starts with how, e you know, it starts with, hey, you know, is the correct name, address, and phone number out there so that I know when I go to this address that I'm going to be able to, you know, trust that it's the right address or the right phone number. Or when I search on Siri or Alexa or Cortana or any of these voice, you know, the, these voice systems or you know, Google Maps or, or Apple Maps, am I going to be able to, you know, are they going to, is it going to give me the right information? Am I going to, am I going to go to the right location or is this, or is this two year old information? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, so that's all, you know, it's just about setting that, that customer experience, making that, uh, that uh, customer experience as pleasant as possible. And look, you're like Crystal is saying, I mean, if you want to get a review, you've got to start off on the right foot before you actually get to the last step, you know, and the, yeah. and the first step is what's going to determine if you actually get to the last step or not, or even get, get to the second step or not. <laughs> yeah. Starting with the end in mind. <laughs> yeah. 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 And 68% of consumers um, are stating that they would stop using a local business if they found incorrect information in online directories so you know it's not to be taken lightly these directories at all yep i i totally agree and this is you know this is this just goes back i mean i'm glad you got those the statistics we've known this for years i yeah. mean we just you know we just consulted with a client you know a property management client in in australia last night that you know he's he's getting you know well over 50 new inbound phone calls a month because you know, we talked about yesterday, you know, playing the, 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 the tortoise game in terms of local SEO. And this all ties in with it. It all, it all works together. And, you know, it's, it's all part of that, that patient or customer or client experience from the beginning all the way through to the end. And now we're just, we're starting to get statistics to, to more tightly associate, you know, why people need to do this that you're going to, that there are going to be negative effects if you don't do some of these things, if you, or, and, and what are the positive effects that you're going to have if you do the things like we talked about last night with, with our, you know, with our client, you know, in, in Australia, you know, if, if he does the link building, if he gets the reviews, if he, if we, you know, correctly manage his name, address, and phone number on the 73 directories that we manage for him, you know, and et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. You know, I mean, it, yeah. it really can pay off big time. I mean, we're talking, you know, inbound phone calls that he doesn't have to pay for. I mean, those calls, each one of those calls to his business are worth at least a hundred dollars, at least a hundred dollars more. I would submit that they're more because they're actually inbound calls. They're not lead gen calls where you've got to try to convince somebody from an mm -hmm. ad that they should go with your business. It's like a referral because mm -hmm. what have they done? They've seen your reputation before they've even picked the phone up because they've seen your reputation on Google My Business. They've seen our client last night, 143 five-star reviews that, you know, because we've helped build his reputation or review culture in his mm -hmm. business, they now, it's just ingrained in their DNA. Like they know that that is part of what they need to do day in, day out, when they have their huddle meetings once a, meet, once a week, they ask as part of their KPIs, how many reviews do we have? How many reviews did we get last week? Just like we do at our, at our company. That's what I mean by review culture. Is it ingrained in what you do week in, day in, day out, et cetera? And if you're, if you're doing these things, this is the way the digital, digital business is done now. And it's not, it's not what it was 10 years ago. It's not what it was five years ago. It's not what it was a year ago. And it's constantly changing. And, you know, I thought it was funny last night. They said, you know, how do you keep up with all this stuff? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's why you guys are property managers. And that's why we do what we do because yeah. it's a lot to, it's a lot to keep up with. And, and, um, but anyway, you know, I, I enjoy it and I know you do too. And, uh, yeah, I think definitely. it's fun.
Yeah, I agree. That's why we do what we do. <laughs> and we enjoy exactly. it as well. Um, now that you were uh, talking, I, I want to invite you guys to download and read the case study, which I have that link below in the comments and learn how property management company got over 371 reviews on Google, got on the first position on Google Maps and generated over 103 inbound leads per month from the search engines. And so that link is in the comments right yes. now. <laughs> yeah. And so yeah. today's discussion, you know, two of the main reasons why it's um, good to have consistency of your contact details online, which is important is for local SEO and the customer experience. So, you know, your directories are online referencing to your business name, address, and phone number, also known as NAP, like Ryan was explaining earlier. <laughs> so that Google yeah. and other search engines can take these or this information into consideration when uh, assessing the local authority of business websites. I'm just doing a quick recap. <laughs> awesome. No, that's really good. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's just, it's just really important for businesses to understand that, you know, and, and, you know, if you if you do go and, and go to that link, I mean, we'll we'll give you tons of value. You go to m.me forward slash express marketing to start yep. a conversation with us. It's all about starting conversations. I mean, we literally legitimately will answer your questions with an audio message. You'll get an audio message from us. Um, and, and we'll see. I mean, if it, you know, we're not just looking to. Oh, Ryan, are you there? Ryan. Okay, seems as though we've lost Ryan. <laughs> um, so yes, and the uh, message link that Ryan is referring to m.me forward slash accelerate marketing is also posted in the comments. So send us questions. Um, let us know some of your thoughts. And we'll definitely get back in contact with you within um, with a audio message or a video message and start that conversation as well. It's always good to hear what, what you're thinking. It's always good to hear what your questions are. And, and we're here to help. That, I mean, that's why we're going live Monday through Friday on a daily basis, because we're here to help and to answer those questions. Um, so we're just about out of time. And I just want to say once again, Monday through Friday, we're live sharing some successful strategies with you on how to become the go-to business in your niche. So this week, I've been talking about local SEO. Uh, Ryan has been joining us as well, which has been awesome because we get to have all those wonderful knowledge bombs from, from Ryan. Next week will be all about um, Google My Business because, well, that beast is beautiful. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it other than that. So we'll talk about Google My Business next week. And then the week after that, it'll be reviews and your online reputation. So my homework for you is to download that case study that we've been talking about all week, which is learning how a property management company got over 371 reviews on Google, got on the first position on Google Maps, and generated over 103 inbound leads per month from the search engines. Tomorrow is Friday, woohoo! which means I'll be interviewing Ryan with some of the top questions in regards to local SEO. Like one of our favorite questions that we get a lot is how do I get on the Google? <laughs> so I know we've been yeah. talking about that this week, but tomorrow it'll be fun to be to ask um, Brian that question as well. If you have any questions, yeah. comment below, send them to us at m.me forward slash accelerate marketing. I'll make sure to get those questions asked and answered um, over to Ryan tomorrow. And tomorrow marks the two week mark for us going live, which is the 10th video. So I wanna share, share some numbers with you on how um, going live over these past two weeks has impacted um, our insights. So create a great rest of your day, everyone, and see you tomorrow.